Alright, welcome back to another episode of Bioshock, everyone. Alright, I'm guessing nice the tranquilizer. That's a dead end, regardless. You got empty pockets? Number one left. Must be his office. Think. Prayer room, leisure. Oh, uh, prayer is locked. So there's leisure. What about work? Sleep is the only thing that's left. Better take a closer look at that clock. What the fuck? This is what he calls sleep? Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biolog What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Wow, each one has a set time. A giant clock. Sort of. It looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. Yeah, well, if there's one thing to think locks. Alright, we open prayer. Girl has his own little prayer room. It doesn't look like he uses it. He didn't believe the word of the prophet. Alright, let's look at his leisure then. This is his leisure? God, this is depressing. <clears throat> My kinetoscope. Graveyard shift bar. To the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Interesting. Sea slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. So does that mean they work together? Hmm. Alright, time to see... How to get that idiot his lock of hair? Down we go. Is 
Listen, I got you your gun. I'm here for my ass. But my book of the wind died for the Vox Populi. Oh, You're shit. Either an imposter or a ghost. My book of the wind was a hero to the cause. A story to tell your children. Oh, we passed each other. We passed each other. I miss you. Aww. You were the only one who ever. That's sad. You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Who the fuck? What the fuck are they doing down here? What's going on? Nothing you need to be concerned about. I guess if I wanted to sneak around, I could go over here. Not trying to. I'm out of gas starts. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, Whoa. I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. 8371. Who done this? Someone about? Ah. Show yourself! Eight, three, Find her. One. Where did she go? Eight, three, seven, one. <clears throat> to go loud sooner. Shut down! 
Guess I gotta go loud. God damn it, I'm almost out! <laughs> Fuck me, come on! They're gonna get full health too. What's the price you're willing to pay so that others may live free from the yoke? The wit knew the price and paid it willingly. No sense what the Lutez twins will one day ask of me. So far, their counsel has served me well. Served the revolution well. If a bullet takes me, so be it. Oh shit, back here. Alright, interesting. This must be considered the last checkpoint. Too fucking bulky. Apparently, that was stealthy enough. You gonna answer for this girl? Apparently, it's still considered stealth so long as they don't see me. Which I find interesting, at least. They're making these motherfuckers. Getting to the foxes are afraid of the hens. If Fink was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handymen, he should have found someone less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from tin man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847. 2847 for that. Out of this room. Got three of these things. Is he not here anymore? I'm in Daisy the sacrificed herself. Oh shit. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you Elizabeth? I'm not Booker. And neither am I. I don't have enough lockbooks for that shit. Whatever stuff I can loot on here. There's ammo and health. Good, good, good. I didn't 
items on the other side over there. Alright, I think we're at a good spot to end this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please like, leave a like down below. If didn't come, didn't come, did. Oh, some more show the looks. Anyways, catch you guys later. Peace. I am known by many names. Mountain Slayer. Thunder Lion. The Chocolate Ass. But you, you may call me Tiffany. Is there any more markers around that can stick up my ass?